Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with a quick video tutorial on how to use Blue Cat's patchwork inside of Ableton Live with Insta Composer from WA Production or any other VST that has multiple MIDI channel outputs. Because you can't do that natively inside of Ableton Live, you're gonna need patchwork to do it. Insta Composer is an incredible plugin. I've just done a video on that as well. If you wanna check it out, links will be in the video description, but you're gonna need this to set that up to be able to utilize, in my opinion, Insta Composer in its full capacity. So the way to do it is once you have patchwork loaded, you're going to have to come in and load a VST. And this is where you're going to want to load Insta Composer. So I'm going to come in, Tools, Insta Composer. So here it is. Now, inside of Insta Composer, we've got channels for each one of the five lanes here. And by default, they're going to be one, two, three, four, five. So that's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and just generate some MIDI. I'm gonna go ahead to all generate MIDI for all. So now I've got this, right? And I want each one of these MIDI channels to trigger a different instrument. So inside of Patchwork, we can load an instrument right here on these panel uh, parallel chains. Each one of the chains is an instrument slot, and then you can actually put VST effects after it if you're looking to do that. Now, as I said, Instant Composer has five lanes so if you want to come in here and show five rows you can do that and you can have up to five instances or five instruments playing at once so what next thing to do is come in here and again let's load a vst so i'm just going to go ahead and load synth master 2 here let's just come into anything really okay so i've got a patch loaded and right here where it says one one i'm going to come in here where it says midi input i'm going to go to host and turn off none or turn it to none rather. And then I'm gonna come into MIDI input and go to port A and choose channel one. Now, nothing's still gonna happen because I need to come into where Instant Composer is. And for MIDI output, instead of none, I wanna go to port A. So now this is going to output to a port A. This is going to receive from an, a, a port A channel one. And if I hit play now, You can hear that I'm triggering Synth Master with the Insta Composer. If I click right here, I'll be able to see it again. And I'm triggering the melody section of Insta Composer with Synth Master. If you could actually just watch, just so you can double check me here. All right, so let's load up another instance of Synth Master. And of obviously, it can be any other synth that you want. I'm just going to run with Synth Master for now. In my more in-depth video for Insta Composer, I used a bunch of different synths. So I'm gonna come in here next, go to browser, let's come into pluck, and again, just randomly choose something. It's not about the co composition or the sounds right now, it's just to show you the routing. So if I play now, you'll see that I'm still just getting that first lane triggered by that first instance, instance of Synth Master. So I gotta come in here again, and on MIDI input, where it says host, I'm gonna go none, and come in one more time, and on MIDI input where it says port A, I'm gonna to go to channel two. And the final thing I need to do is actually activate the channel. It's not activated by default, so you're gonna to have to come over here and actually turn it on. And if I hit play now, All right, I'm not gonna be able to find um, uh, two sounds that work really well together, but that's the essentialness of it. And we'll do it one more time, just so you're fully comfortable. I'm gonna go load VST, back into VST2s, into my instrument folder. Let's go sub lab, because we're gonna do bass. All right, I'm gonna close out of there. And again, we need to make sure it's on, and we need to come in here where it says MIDI output, or MIDI input rather, for the host, we wanna do none, come back in, MIDI input, port A, channel three. And there you go. Now we've got the three channels here getting piped into three different instruments, then getting piped out into Ableton Live. Now, if you want to learn everything else about how to drag and drop MIDI and how to actually use Instant Composer, click the link in the video description 
and that will bring you to a full video tutorial on getting started with Instant Composer. But I wanted to share this in a separate video just for people looking to get the routing going inside of Ableton Live. Other DAWs are a little bit different and some of them are much easier, but if you're an Ableton Live user like me, I think you'll find this video pretty useful. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.